Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Brandon. I am so excited because today we are going to be working with a scale. So this scale has two buckets, one bucket here and one bucket here. And what we're going to do, we're gonna put different objects inside the buckets and we're gonna see what happens to the scale. We're gonna see what objects are heavy and what objects are light and what objects are big, and what objects are little. So, let's get started. So why don't we put this dinosaur right here. Look at this dinosaur, wow, look at that spine. Pretty cool dinosaur. So I'm gonna put him in that bucket. <gasps> wow, he tipped the scales. He's really, really heavy, right? So this is a pretty big dinosaur, right? So let's see what happens if I put something small on the other side. Why don't I put this little, little itty bitty, itty bitty red baby there? Nothing happened because the dinosaur is heavier than the red bear. Good job, my friends. All right, let's put these two side. Let's get some more objects. Oh, wow, I have some, some toy figurines here. Let's see what happens if I put one toy on one side and the other toy on another. Let's see what happens. Oh, we tip the scale. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. So at first, that figure me tips the scales, but when I put this figure on the other side, it tips the scales to that side. So this figure me is heavier than this figure me. It looks like this figure is bigger than this figure me. That's so cool. All right, let's see what else we have here. Wow, I have some giant building blocks, giant Legos. So I'm gonna put those on one side. I'm gonna put another one in there. Wow, look at that! So this hollow uh, block is the same weight as this hollow block, and they're the same size too. Watch what happens one more time, ready? Wow, they're balancing! So cool! What happens if I put this little, Circle, this little red circle on one side. Let's see what happens. It slightly brought this side down just a little bit. Let's see what happens if I put a blue diamond or a blue rhombus on this side. Let's see what happens. Wow. Now this side is a little bit lower than that side. Wow, so cool. Now let's see what happens if I take out two yellow bricks and I just keep the diamond and the circle in there. Yup, same thing happened, right? This side is slightly lower than this side. All right, let's see what else we have left. We have, wow, what shape is this? Yeah, it's a square, what color is the square? Yellow, amarillo, I wanna say amarillo. Amarillo, good job. Now let's put it on the scale. Wow, it's hit the scales. Let's see what happens if I put a purple counting bear on the other side. Oh no, I tip the scale, so that purple counting bear is heavier than that yellow square. Let's see if I put, what if I put another purple counting bear on this side. Oh, I tip the scales over to this side. Let's see what happens if I put another counting bear over here. I tip the scales again. So this I consider in this pair are heavier than the objects that are in this pair. Now, what happens when I put this blue kind of bear on this side? Now, this side is slightly heavier than this side. It's not quite touching the carpet. It has, well, maybe a centimeter or two before touching the carpet. But so it has to really tip the scales. Wow, look at that. So cool. What happens if I put everything to scale at one time? There, 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 there. The diamonds go here, there, here. Let's see if I put the two yellow bricks in here. Let's see what happens if I pull up the dinosaur. Wow, super duper cool. So scales are so much fun. So if you have a scale at home, it's probably a scale that you can step on. So if you have a step on scale at home, maybe you can try using that and you can step on it and see what happens or if you can put 
of large objects on it to see what happens. Scale is super duper fun. It is so much fun to explore what objects are big and little and heavy and light. So thank you so much for joining me, my friends. I had so much fun. I hope you had fun too. I can't wait to see you very soon. Adios, my friends. See you later. Bye.